The Canadian Environmental Protection Act, 1999 The Act CEPA 1999 is an act of the Parliament of Canada, whose goal is to contribute to sustainable development through pollution prevention and to protect the environment, human life and health from the risks associated with toxic substances. It covers a diversity of activities that can affect human health and the environment, and acts to address any pollution issues not covered by other federal laws. As such, the Act is a catch-all piece of legislation that ensures potentially toxic substances are not inadvertently exempt from federal oversight as a result of unforeseen legislative loopholes. The Act also recognizes the contribution of pollution prevention and the management and control of toxic substances and hazardous waste to reducing threats to Canada's ecosystems and biological diversity. It acknowledges, for the first time, the need to virtually eliminate the most persistent toxic substances that remain in the environment for extended periods of time before breaking down and bioaccumulative toxic substances that accumulate within living organisms. Health Canada works in partnership with Environment Canada to assess potentially toxic substances and to develop regulations to control toxic substances. Section 93 of the Act provides the authority to the federal government to make regulations to restrict and manage pollution in Canada. History Originally enacted in 1988, the Act provided a systematic approach to assess and manage chemical substances in the environment that were not addressed under existing programs. After being reviewed in the 1990s, it was replaced by the current legislation that provides new powers for health and environmental protection. It was introduced as Bill C-32 on March 12, 1998, subsequently receiving royal assent on September 14, 1999. The Act came into force on March 31, 2000. As a Canadian statute, the Act is unique for including a declaration of primary purpose, in addition to a preamble. Topic. New and existing substances Topic. New substances All new substances must be evaluated for human health and environmental risks before they can be manufactured or imported into Canada. Responsibility for these evaluations is shared between Environment Canada and Health Canada and is administered by the New Substances Program, which administers regulations relating to the notification of new substances into the environment. Topic. Existing substances. Existing substances include all 23,000 substances that were in use in Canada prior to the establishment of the New Substances Notification Program, and they are all listed on the Domestic Substances List DSL. The Act required systematic screening of these substances, a process that was completed in September 2006, which led to the development of the Chemicals Management Plan. Topic. Biotechnology The 23,000 existing substances on the DSL included 67 microbial strains and two complex microbial cultures. These substances were subject to a separate prioritization assessment and accordingly evaluated. Health Canada and Environment Canada share responsibility for conducting risk assessments of new biotechnology products including microorganisms that are not subject to a pre-manufacture toxicity assessment under other federal legislation. Under the Act, both naturally occurring and genetically modified organisms are evaluated under the New Substances Notification Regulations organisms. Risk assessment decisions are summarized and posted publicly. Topic: Enforcement, penalties and prosecution. Enforcement activities related to the Act can include Warnings regarding the existence of a violation so that the alleged offender can act and return to compliance. Directions to deal with or to prevent illegal releases of regulated substances. Tickets for offenses e.g. failure to submit written reports. 
various orders e.g. prohibition orders, orders to recall illegal substances or products from the marketplace, environmental protection compliance orders to put an immediate stop to illegal activity to prevent a violation from occurring or require action to be taken, injunctions, prosecution under the authority of a Crown Prosecutor, and environmental protection alternative measures. Topic. Environmental Enforcement Act Fines under the Environmental Enforcement Act EEA range from $5,000 to $6 million. The EEA applies to offenses under CEPA 1999. The EEA also allows arrest without warrant, seize or detain anything items related to a CEPA 1999 offense or related evidence, detain or redirect ship suspected of an offense. Convictions or indictments under the EEA can also result in imprisonment up to three years. Prosecutions under CEPA 1999 are listed on Environment Canada's website. Topic. See also Canadian Environmental Protection Act, official website Enforcement and compliance under CEPA 1999